Aaron Nola is not having a good season in 2023. Currently, he has a 4.58 ERA and is near the top of the league in terms of home runs given up. Even peripheral stats like FIP show that he's having a very down season compared to the season prior. Seems pretty disappointing by his normal excellent standards, right? Wrong. As a massive Phillies fan, I'm here to say that Aaron Nola has been massively overrated for the better parts of five years now. Really, his only major elite season was all the way back in 2018, when he somehow finished with a 2.37 ERA. No other season, not one, has he even finished with an ERA below 3.20. Currently, he has more seasons where he's been a mediocre pitcher than a truly great pitcher. He's been mostly a solid good 2 or 3 in the rotation, but the way some people talk about him makes it seem like he's one of the best pitchers of his generation, or the clear ace of the staff, like Zach Wheeler doesn't exist or something. Here's how ESPN ranked him before the season began. Here's how CBS ranked him before the season began. I'm sorry, but there's no possible way that Aaron Nola is anywhere near the top 30 of the best players in baseball. Even Foolish Baseball, who I greatly respect, overrated him before the season began. Nola lands a great spot because I don't think there's a pitcher in MLB who commands his arsenal better. There are plenty of pitchers with better stuff, but none of them hit the target quite as often as Nola. With free agency looming, he's one more big season away from a monster payday. And that's the big point that I want to make here. Nola does not deserve the $200 million contract that he's supposedly demanding. Last offseason, the Phillies allegedly offered him a contract in the low 100 millions. Fitting for a pitcher who's had the career that Nola's had. Mostly good, but only great once. But Nola apparently thinks he's in the category of Scherzer or Verlander or DeGrom. He wants that $200 million badly. And the Phillies would be idiotic to give that to him. And I know about the innings pitched argument that some will bring up. But personally, I don't care if you're among the league leaders in that category if your ERA is in the high fours. That doesn't deserve $200 million. You could easily find another starter who will pitch better than that and make much less money. And you can just spend some of the money that you'll save on another solid reliever too. Plus there's the issue that he may never adjust to the pitch clock era, and that he always seems to freeze and panic whenever he has two strikes on a batter, even in his good seasons. In conclusion, the Phillies would be absolutely foolish to hand a $200 million contract to a pitcher on a possible major decline who was never even all that good to begin with.